Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project blockchain and machine learning in healthcare and management. Introduction. A project focuses on two objectives. First, we want to make sure that patient healthcare records are as secure as possible. Second, we aim to improve healthcare by predicting medical conditions quickly, allowing for prompt and effective treatments. The methods traditionally used to manage healthcare data have some significant weaknesses. These include vulnerabilities that can lead to data breaches and inefficiencies that cause delays in managing healthcare information. To overcome these challenges, we are introducing a powerful combination of two technologies, blockchain and machine learning. Blockchain is like a digital ledger that records transactions securely and transparently. In our case, it is used to store healthcare records. Instead of having all the data in one place, blockchain stores records as blocks of data, each with a unique code called a hash. These blocks are distributed across multiple computers or nodes, making it much harder for anyone to tamper with the data or compromise the entire system. Blockchain offers several advantages for our healthcare system. First, it is decentralized, meaning the data isn't stored in one vulnerable location. Second, it enhances security because the data is stored in a way that is very difficult to alter or hack. Third, it prompts transparency as all transactions are recorded and visible to authorized users. Fourth, it ensures data immutability meaning once something is recorded in the blockchain, it can't be easily changed. Finally, it is resilient to failures because even if some nodes go down, others continue to maintain the data. Machine learning looks at all the data stored in the blockchain and uses it to predict potential health issues. And we have chosen Ethereum's blockchain for our healthcare system because it is known for its smart contract capabilities. Smart contracts help manage and secure healthcare data and Ethereum provides a robust and flexible platform for implementing these smart contracts which are crucial for controlling data access and security in our system. Objective of the project So, as I mentioned before, our primary goal is to improve how healthcare is managed. We do this by combining two powerful technologies, blockchain and machine learning. Blockchain acts as an ultra-secure digital ledger ensuring data security through immutability and decentralization, making it highly resistant to unauthorized access or tampering. This robust security is crucial for maintaining the integrity of healthcare records. And machine learning is like having a digital assistant with the ability to analyze vast amounts of data quickly. In this project, it is analyzing healthcare data stored on the blockchain. Its job is to predict patient conditions. For instance, it can analyze a patient's medical history and provide predictions about their current health. This predictive power helps doctors make informed decisions rapidly, especially in urgent cases. And the project incorporates a user-friendly Django interface to facilitate doctor interactions with the system. This includes simplified doctor registration, streamlined patient data input to reduce administrative burdens and efficient patient record retrieval. These features enhance system usability, saving time and enabling doctors to prioritize patient care. Requirements needed to execute this project are hardware requirements, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, ROM of 25 GB and above. Software requirements needed are Node.js, Python 3.7.0 and Visual Studio Community version. To execute this project, we have designed few modules. The first module is register or sign up. In this module, different hospitals and doctors can sign up for the application. It simplifies the onboarding process, reducing barriers for healthcare professionals to access the system. The second module is login. Once registered, doctors can log into the application. This provides secure access to the system, ensuring that only authorized users can use the platform. The next module is Add Patient Condition. After logging in, doctors can use this module to add patient details. When a patient visits a doctor, the doctor collects the patient's unique ID and enters all relevant health details into the system. These details are then securely stored in the blockchain. The next module is Check Patient Records from Blockchain. In the event of a patient's condition worsening or needing urgent care, doctors can use this module to retrieve patient records from the blockchain. 
Doctor simply enter the patient's ID and the system retrieves all the patient's health data. This data is then input into the machine learning algorithm as bag of words features. The machine learning algorithm then predicts the patient's condition based on this information. Doctors can view these predictions along with the patient's health data, enabling them to take quick and informed action. Blockchain integration Blockchain is employed as a secure repository for patient health records. It acts like an impenetrable digital wall, ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of the stored data. The decentralized nature of the blockchain network enables multiple hospitals to contribute to and access patient records securely. This decentralization means that no single entity has complete control over the data, reducing the risk of data manipulation or central breaches. Blockchain facilitates rapid retrieval of patient records, a crucial factor in making timely medical decisions. In critical situations, doctors can access patient information promptly leading to faster diagnosis and treatment, potentially saving lives. Patient data privacy is a top priority in healthcare. By using blockchain, patient data remains private and secure. The data is encrypted and only authorized individuals such as healthcare providers can access it. And data integrity is maintained in the system through the utilization of the SHA-256 algorithm that is Secure Hash Algorithm 256 bit. Each block in a blockchain is linked with a unique hash code. These blocks are maintained across multiple nodes or servers. Before storing new records, blockchain verifies the hash code of each block. If any block data is modified, it results in a different hash code, triggering security alarms and ensuring the integrity and immutability of the data. Execution of the project To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is blockchain ml folder, inside this folder are python code files that are intended to be dynamically loaded into the project during runtime. time. This is blockchain ml app folder, this folder comprises a static folder which contains files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. These files contribute to the visual and interactive aspects of the application. And blockchain ml app folder also contains a templates folder. Within this folder, we'll find all the HTML pages used throughout the project. It includes pages like index.html, home.html and more representing various sections of the website. And it also contains Python code files that will be executed during the runtime of the application, supporting its functionality. This is hello8 folder. In this folder, I have a node modules folder. This folder consists of dependencies or modules needed for the project. Now open .bin folder. This folder often contains executable scripts related to the project's dependencies. So I have a run blockchain.bat file here. Double click on it to start the blockchain. This script will initiate the local Ethereum blockchain for development purposes. It contains commands to start the blockchain environment. Now the blockchain is hosted on the local machine at the local host and the port. This address allows us to interact with the blockchain using various tools and applications. Now execute the command truffle space migrate to compile and deploy the smart contracts. So I'm typing truffle space migrate and hit the enter button. So truffle is a development framework for Ethereum that simplifies the process of compiling and deploying smart contracts. They're deployed on a blockchain network and can facilitate various transactions such as transferring tokens or managing digital assets. So once the migration process is complete, Truffle will provide us with a unique Ethereum contract address. So this is the contract address. So this address represents the location of the deployed smart contracts on the blockchain. And here we can see gas used. To execute the solidity file and compile smart contracts, this is the amount of gas consumed. So now minimize this. This is dataset folder in which I have required dataset. So in the first row I have the column names and the remaining rows contain the values. So in the last column I have ones and zeros. So zero indicates normal and one indicates abnormal. So on this data we will train the machine learning algorithm. Close this data. 
This is manage.py file. It is a command line utility that comes with Django. It provides various commands for managing Django pro projects including tasks like running the development server, creating database tables, applying migrations and more. And this is run.bat file. Instead of executing the project through command line interface, we have created windows bat file to execute the project. Now double click on it to start the Django application. So the Django framework will host the application locally at the default address, local, host and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework, I am copying it and paste it into any web browser, I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, type index.html at the end and hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using the Django framework and here we can see login and register here links. If we are new users, we have to register first, click on register here link to fill in all these details. The username would be Kiran, give the password, give the contact number, give the email ID. Give the address. So select the user type and it is doctor. So the hospital name would be Gandhi Hospital. Now click on register button. So here we can see sign up process completed. Now we log in, click on login link. So give the previously mentioned credentials. So the username is Kiran. Give the correct password and click on login. So we have logged in as Dr. Kiran and here we can see add patient condition, check patient records from blockchain and logout links. Click on add patient condition link. So here we can see a add patient condition value screen. We have to enter all these values. The patient ID would be 4. Give the age, I'm giving it as 21. So select the gender, I'm selecting it as male. So in the next column we have to select the type of chest pain experienced from the drop down I am selecting the first one and and the next column we have to enter the blood pressure when at rest I am giving it as 110 so in cholesterol column we have to enter the cholesterol levels in the blood so I am giving it as 210 here we have to select the blood sugar level after fasting I'm giving it as two. So in the next column, we have to select results of resting electrocardiogram. I'm selecting normal. So in the next column, that is max heart rate achieved column, we have to give the maximum heart rate achieved during exercise. I'm giving it as 110. So in the next column, we have to select the presence or absence of chest pain induced by exercise. I'm giving it as yes. And in the old peak column, we have to give the ST depression induced by exercise relative to rest. I'm giving it as 21. And in the, rec uh, in the next column, that is slope peak exercise column, we have to select the slope of the peak exercise ST segment. So I'm giving it as upsloping. In the next column, we have to select the number of major blood vessels colored by fluoroscopy I'm giving it as zero and in the last column we have to give the thallium test test result so I'm giving it as one so I have filled in all these details now click on submit button in the red color text we can see patient condition saved in blockchain so all these values the data of the patient has been saved in the blockchain now click on check patient records from blockchain link. So here we have to enter the patient ID. So the patient ID is 4. Now click on get records button. So here we can see the details of the patient are being retrieved from the blockchain. And here we can see the machine learning predictions also. So for this test record, the condition has been predicted as normal. So now again click on add patient condition link. 
so this time we will give another set of details so the patient id is 5 i am giving the age as 63 gender is male chest pain type is i am selecting the third one so the resting blood pressure would be 145 cholesterol rate would be 233 fasting blood sugar i'm selecting it as true resting electrocardiogram results would be normal max heart rate hf would be 150 so exercise induced angina would be yes so old pic would be 2.3 slow pic exercise would be up sloping to Total major vessel would be zero, and thal would be one. Now click on submit button. So the patient condition details are been saved in blockchain. Now click on check patient records from blockchain link. So the patient ID is five. Now click on get records button. So here we can see for these test records the machine learning. algorithm has predicted the condition as abnormal and we can see the details patient id doctor name hospital name date and all of the details so in the same way patient just has to say his id and all records will be retrieved from blockchain with machine learning predictions so nobody can hack or alter blockchain data so patient health records will be secured now click on log out so the conclusion here is the project successfully combines two cutting edge technologies blockchain and machine learning to elevate healthcare management by using blockchain the project guarantees the security and immutability of patient health records this means that once data is recorded it cannot be easily altered or tampered with this robust security significantly reduces the risk of data breaches and ensures the integrity of healthcare information and machine learning algorithms integrated into the system demonstrate their value by swiftly and accurately predicting patient conditions this capability empowers healthcare providers to make prompt medical interventions based on data driven insights potentially improving patient outcomes and the adoption of the django framework results in a user friendly interface this user interface simplifies the interaction for doctors streamlining processes such as registration data input and record retrieval it enhances the overall usability of the system making it more accessible and efficient and by successfully combining blockchain and machine learning this project isn't just solving today's healthcare challenges it is also paving the way for even more advanced data security and predictive healthcare tools in the future Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.